It's my opinion that our father's relationship with his father was the most important relationship in his life. And the love between them and the respect that they showed one another was extraordinary and intense. And as our father moved away, went to boarding school, college, went to war, moved to New York, moved to Europe, the two men kept up a very active correspondence and the letters really show this extraordinary relationship they had. My father wrote his first novel, Lie Down in Darkness, um, in New York uh, in a series of crummy little apartments he had. And he wrote to his father at the very end of writing Lie Down in Darkness and he writes, I've thought of you every day. I'm working so steadily on the book and time passes so fast that I find that I'm neglectful of almost everything, including correspondence. Forgive me. The book is a chore and a delight. A chore because it seems that it's a weight that I'll never get off my shoulders after having written on it so long. A delight because now, having written almost all of it, I can truthfully feel that I've not only written a novel, but a good novel, perhaps even a really fine novel. And I hope it gives some people a pleasure in inverse proportion to the pain it's caused me in the writing. That would be a lot of pleasure. <laughs> I like this letter because it's a good example of when my father was writing well, he knew he was writing well, even when he was as young as he, I mean, he was only 25 here. Um, and it's his first novel, but he knew when he was writing well, and, and you could see it reflected in his correspondence with people, particularly with his father. <laughs>